but I realized that I had not shown you guys how I'm mixing the cob. And then it started raining today. So now I'm mixing cob a different way inside. But there's lots of videos out there that show you how to mix cob with the tarp method. And uh, where you stomp it in and flip the tarp around. And that's what we've been doing so far. But today, since I don't have access to outside without getting rained on, uh, I covered up my sand and my clay with a tarp and uh, my straw all under tarps. But I'm going out getting what I need and coming back in and mixing in this tub. So this is like a 20 gallon uh, mortar mixing tub. And I'm using, I found out that these little trays we were hauling cob inside in are a perfect size to get just the right amount mix. So put my sand in first. Kind of spread it around the bottom, it just makes it a little easier. And I haven't uh, got all my clay processed, so that's part of what I'm doing too. Let me grab my gloves. So it just so happens this tub's the right size for this screen that I made. Taking my clay and dumping some in there. All those big chunks would make it really hard to mix. But as you rub this around on this, stuff that's already small enough falls through. Stuff like this, give it a twist and a push, and it goes right on through. And now it's a nice mixable size. The stuff that's a little wetter is a little more difficult, but. It still goes. And that's just the rocks. That I'm just going to throw onto the mast because then it's cut down and becomes part of the mast. So once that's in there, I guess that ain't hurt me. We'll put straw in I kind of mix it up a little bit with the sand. just makes it a little easier to mix in a tub. It's not really necessary when you're using the metal and tarp. And then, we add our water. John was using this little paint bucket, and I found out that about one and two thirds of these makes about the mix that I want right now. I'm wanting it. right now. I'm doing a little bit wet because I'm focusing on just uh, getting a nice and level coat coating over the pipes, over the heat exchangers. So I want to flow a little bit. So what I found is that this stuff activates a lot better if you mash it than if you just keep breaking it back and forth. 
and I think that's why normally it's mixed by stone pen. Make sure it doesn't clump and you'll be fine. And then I'll just tamp it in. in the last video, Cobb is a lot of work, but it's kind of fun.
don't know if it's picking it up or not. I think it is. But anyway, the bench is steaming dry as it dries out. That is pretty freaking awesome. Oh yeah, you can see it coming up off of there. That's the steam from the cob as it dries out. Of course, I've got a nice fire roaring in there right now, so... Ha! Cool. It is looking a little different now. Lots of progress today. And it is warm to the touch, even though it's still wet. Pretty awesome. All right, more tomorrow.